This video will talk about least squares estimates for multiple linear regression. Just like we can use least squares in simple linear regression, we can use those same concepts in multiple linear regression. Now, if we were to do a multiple linear regression by hand, these are the formulas that we would need to find the estimates of beta 0 hat, beta 1 hat, and beta 2 hat. And now this would be for an example with p equals 2 independent variables. We'd need to know the Pearson correlation coefficient between all the variables between y and x1, between y and x2, and between x1 and x2. We would need to know the mean values for all the variables. We'd also need to know the sample standard deviation of all the variables. And so if we knew all of that, we could calculate them all out by hand, but it would get to be a lot of work. We could also calculate a confidence interval for any value, we'll call it beta j. So we're estimating the regression parameters beta 0, beta 1, beta 2, um, all the way up to beta p. This is a case of one sample inference with an unknown population variance. And so we can use the t-distribution just like we did in simple linear regression, but instead we'll look at and using n minus p minus 1 degrees of freedom. Whenever we estimate more parameters, we need to take them away from the estimating uh, the, or determining the number of degrees of freedom. And so we can then calculate a confidence level. We'll call that level C. Maybe it's a 95% confidence level. So if we had the value beta J, we would take plus or minus our value T, we could find on a T table, times the standard error of that estimate or the standard error of beta j. And so remember too that we're going to take the value t from the t table with a t of n minus p minus 1 distribution with a critical area or for that confidence interval between negative t and t. So we're going to go through some examples where we do this, uh, but let's say we want to calculate or predict the wingspan of falcons. We want to estimate the length of falcon wingspans using their weight and tail length as independent variables. We have 20 observations of falcons, and we can think about our model looking like this. The wingspan is going to equal b0 plus b1 times weight plus b2 times the tail length. And so we're going to use r to find the regression coefficients to determine the wingspan length. And then finally, we can also use R to find the confidence intervals. So we can get the confidence intervals for the falcon wingspan regression uh, for beta 0, beta 1, and beta 2. And because this gets to be a little bit more clunky and a lot more formulas if we did this out by hand, we're going to use our software to determine these uh, or to perform this multiple linear regression.